Right. This is beautiful. This is a vintage 1974 Nemo Italy peach amber frosted circles hanging swag lamp. MCM. This is amazing. It's another thing where I'm like, I might want to keep that. That is so cool. Um, she sold this for $459.99 plus shipping and she paid $45 for that at an estate sale. Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, I've got 37 bolos coming your way. These range from unexpected to big money. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be quite a few in here that you're going to be like, hmm. Um, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These bolos come from my featured Bolo Buddies members, members of my YouTube channel. If you're interested in joining memberships, there is a link down in the description to join. All right, we are going to get started with some Bolo items. The first item comes from Leo's Treasures, and she does not have a YouTube channel, but this is her eBay store. Super fun, cool items. Um, there is a link to her eBay store down in the description of the video, so definitely check that out. All right. So the first item she sold is this Manhattan Toy Company Chicken Rooster Bandana Hand Puppet from 1995. It is a hard to find item. HTF means hard to find. Uh, she paid 80 cents for this at the Goodwill Benz and she took, actually, so she sold it in one day for full asking price of $54.75 plus shipping. The next item is this Alice in Wonderland teapot. She said that this sat in her money pile because she didn't want to ship it. And I think I've had one of these that I sold also. And I was in the same situation. I'm like, how am I going to ship that thing? Um, but mine sold and I shipped it just fine. But she sold this one for a best offer of $30 in one week. And she got it at a garage sale for $1. It is the 150th anniversary uh, teapot here. And you can see it comes apart. It's really, really cute. I'm not sure if mine was the exact same... Um, brand. I, I feel like mine looked different, but it came apart the same way and was kind of awkward to ship. The next item she sold is this Art, A-R-T, Arthur Pepper Filigree Enamel Brooch. Flowers, faux pearls, signed vintage. Let me show you the signature here, A-R-T. And she got this at an estate sale for 50 cents and took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. So don't skip out on that jewelry that you can pick up super cheap and sell for a nice profit. Uh, 50 cents into $20. I, my, I'm all about that all day long. The next item comes from Butterfly Hustles, and she's been taking a little break from YouTube. I'm hoping she's coming back soon. She has a great channel where she takes you thrifting with her, and she is a bolo finder. So go check out her channel and definitely sub her up. Super sweet gal. And I actually learned one big money item from her and I have sold it over and over and over again. And that is straw hats. So um, thanks to Butterfly Hustles, I know all about them. And somebody, um, one of my other members uh, shared in, I don't know, it may be in this video that she found a straw hat and she learned it from me, but I'm not taking credit for that. That was all butterfly hustles. All right, let's see what she sold here. She has great, great taste in finding vintage clothing. This is a vintage pioneer men's wear or wear pioneer wear men's corduroy jacket. Check this thing out. Is that snazzy or what? Uh, that's pretty cool. I probably would have picked this up even though I hate selling clothing now. And let's see, she shows you the little imperfections and look at the detail. I love it. Uh, she got this at the Goodwill uh, for $14.99 and sold it on best offer of $75. The next item is this French artist Paul Lambert original oil painting on canvas. And she got this at the Goodwill for $4.50 and took a best offer of $125 plus shipping. The next item she sold are these Victoria's Secret silky pajamas. If you do not know, vintage Victoria's Secret, discontinued Victoria's Secret can definitely be a nice big money bolo. 
So always search Victoria's Secret if um, it looks like an older tag or just search it in general. Um, if it looks discontinued, it doesn't have to be super old. There's certain things that people just love. Um, I know some of the satiny nightgowns can do really good. There is a bra and panty set. Um, it's called Second Skin Satin. That is a big money bolo. People search high and low for it and will pay up for it. I haven't checked the market on it lately, but it's usually trending pretty high. So check out that brand. If you search um, eBay, you'll see it. Let's see. She got these at uh, Value Village for $6.99 and took a best offer of $87.85 plus shipping. All right. This one comes from Double T's Treasures. Just a girl making a living thrifting. Check her out on YouTube. Here is her channel. And she is uh, linked down below. Also, she is almost to a thousand subscribers, you guys. So definitely sub her up. Let's help her hit that milestone. All right. What did she pick up? She's a bolo finder for sure. She got this remote at the thrift store for $2 and she sold it for $98.97. It is a Sony remote. It is unbelievable what some remotes go for. Some, I'm going to say most are bread and butter, but um, this one was definitely big money. It's like you have to put in that, see how it has a number? RMJ801 or TCC5. I'm guessing if you put those numbers in, it will pull it up and it's right here. And that will help you, you know, figure out if it's worth money or not. This one is really cool. It's a vintage Seth Thomas Teak Brass Atomic Sunburst Wall Clock, MCM Mid Century Modern. Absolutely amazing. I got to tell you, if I ever find an MCM clock, it's going to be hanging on my wall because I love the looks of these and my husband loves clocks. So uh, we will definitely be keeping it. She got this at the Goodwill for $6 and sold it for $175 with free shipping. Wow. The next item is this Paul and Shark. Never heard of that. It's men's yachting pure silk sailing jacket size extra large made in Italy. And she sold this for a best offer of 150 and she got it in a Goodwill blue box for approximately $7. So I know they do plush boxes, blue boxes, and I know they do jewelry. I did not know that they did clothing. So that's good to know. The next one comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. And she does a live show that's called Let's Talk About It. And it's basically like she picks a category and teaches you guys about all the bolos in that category. So definitely super educational. And it's live, so you can ask questions. She usually does that on Thursday nights. Uh, she did miss a few sessions because she was working on moving, but she is back in session. So check her out. All right. This is super cool. So she got all of these... Um, Hallmark ornaments and she picked them up. I believe it was an estate sale and they were a quarter a piece and she lotted them up. So all of these Hallmark ornaments, there were 41 in this lot and these were from 1991 and she did put cake topper in the title, which is a unique idea. Um, I use cake topper for toys, but never thought about using it for ornaments. So definitely a good idea because these are just small ornaments. All right. So there was that set. And then there was this set, 34 from 1995. And then there was this set, just to give you an idea of what they look like, uh, 24 of them from 1990. The same person bought them all. And in total, sorry, let me go back here. They paid $329.98 for all three sets of ornaments. And I believe the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Rena Ware, vintage Rena Ware, stainless steel. It's a skillet pan. I've never heard of this brand. She did say that she has a Let's Talk About It stainless steel cookware video on her channel. So if you want to learn more about stainless steel cookware, you can... Uh, Search that up on YouTube. It's on her channel. Oh, wait, what'd she sell that for? She got that for a buck and she sold it for $80.99 plus shipping. All right, this is beautiful. This is a vintage 1974 Nemo Italy peach amber frosted circles hanging swag lamp MCM. This is 
amazing. It's another thing where I'm like, I might want to keep that. That is so cool. Um, she sold this for $459.99 plus shipping, and she paid $45 for that at an estate sale. The next item comes from It's All Goods. She does not have an eBay store, but if you click on the link below, it is going to take you into all of her listings in this format, and you can check out what else she has listed. Again, lots of toys in her store, but a really cool, you know, just cool, interesting things that you might not think to pick up. All right, this Disney Radco, Christopher Radco Cinderella ornament, uh, black collection, great shape, see details. So here it is. And pretty amazing item. Got this at a garage sale for $15 and she flipped that for $300 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage 1995 lava light. It's a lamp, golden color, wax base cap, number 25 motion C details. I have no idea what that means, but I'm guessing a lava lamp collect collector may know. Maybe it has something to do with this. Um, she sold this for a best offer of 75 and she got it at the Goodwill for $6. I would be terrified to ship a lava lamp. All right. So I already know about these pipe works, but you may not. This bolo is definitely one that you might pass by if you don't know about it. Um, I actually featured Eddie Hodges, um, HodgePodge is his eBay store. And he found a ton of these and he parted them out and he made so much money. I have a video on it. I can't remember which one it is because I've featured him so many times, but he's definitely a bolo finder. But I knew about these from him and she ended up selling these for $165 best offer. And she got them at Savers for six bucks. So this is what you're looking for. They are called Play School Pipe Works, and they're like building toys. The next item comes from In the Life of a Reseller, formerly known as Designs by Josie. This is her YouTube channel. You can check it out. Um, she hasn't put anything out recently, but hopefully she'll have more content coming soon. You can sub her up down below. She got this fax machine at a local auction for $1. It sold in two weeks for $85.50. It's a vintage brother Intel fax 775 plain paper fax machine working with the original owner's manual. She also sold this wishful thirst trap juice hyaluronic acid peptid serum. I don't know, some beauty stuff, face stuff. I don't know, something like that. Um, I don't use that fancy stuff. But she got this out of a free um, beauty box. So she must order beauty boxes and maybe it was something she didn't want. Sold this in 24 hours for $22.49 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1983 rainbow bright flat sheet. You gotta love that. Super, super fun item. If you guys do not know, flat sheets or sheets in general that have these vintage um, nostalgia characters on them can definitely be a bolo. Uh, she got these at her secret source for five bucks and sold them for $61.19 plus shipping. The next item here is this bolo tie. Very, very cool item. Not be on the lookout bolo, but a bolo tie. This is marked sterling. It is beautiful. I don't know what that is. Um, let's see. I don't know. That, that is a really good looking tie. Look at that. That is cool. All right. So she sold this on, uh, it was a consignment item and she sold it for $68 plus shipping. And I don't know if she does a 50-50 split or how she does it. Most people do a 50-50 split, but it really just depends on um, what, what you have set up with the person that's giving you the items. Okay, three ducks resale. Again, no eBay store, but if you click on the link below, it's going to take you into their um, listings in this format. So you can still check out what they're selling. Oh my goodness, that's funny. It's a little candle holder. So great store. Check it out. And 
she sold this vintage Napco Japan 3D bird plate from, and it says 1357. So it must be numbered. You can see here. I don't know. Does it, I don't, is that maybe to hang it? So it's 3D. It's dimensional, guys. All right. She got this at the Goodwill for $3.75 and sold it for $30 plus shipping. Tell me in the comments, would you have picked up the bird plate or would you have walked right past it? The bird plate with a chip. I'm guessing a lot of you would have skipped it because of the chip. I think I would have. So definitely always learning. Salad servers, utensils, beaded handles, pure one. Looks like an item that you could pick up at a garage sale or a thrift store, pretty cheap. Let's see where she got it. She got this at the Goodwill for $2.75 and sold it for 18 plus shipping. Michael Aram, Black Orchid, handcrafted salt and pepper shakers. Bloopers at the end. All right, let's see. $4.75 at the Goodwill and sold it for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. The next item comes from Gail's Resale it NC, maybe North Carolina. I don't know. She's got some clothing. She's got some vintage items. She's got some toys. You can check her out down below. She's also on Poshmark and Mercari. Vintage, vintage mask, wall art, Mardi Gras, Harlequin, wall hangings. Let's see. She got this at a garage sale for $1 and she sold them for a best offer, but she did not tell me what she sold them for. So I apologize. I do not have that for you. But very uh, unique item. And you can see they're not very big. They're only about four and a half inches there. Barbie Dreamhouse 2015 replacement part elevator with doll holder and cord. This came from, it was in a big dollhouse and she parted it out. So I don't know what the actual price was, but it sold for $35.99. And you guys know I like to part out dollhouses. This is a cigar cigarette ashtray. And this came from a clean out. So she got it free and sold it for $34.01. Some ashtrays can be big money. So nickel on bottom. What's that mean? Nickel, good condition. Oh, Nick, nickel, Nick on bottom. All right. All right. Let's see. We have one stop shop 59. Again, really cool, neat vintage items. Whoa, look at that bat. Eek. I like looking through the stores. All right. Coca Pelli. I think I said that right. Stoneware square brown southwestern design by Mara Mug. Let's get a glimpse at the bottom here. Oh, wow. It's actually like, looks like it's carved or handwritten in there. She got this for $2 at a thrift store and sold it for $30.42 plus shipping. This is a Rain Tree Big Large Mouth Bass Solid Brass Belt Buckle. I thought it was a wall hanging at first. Uh, right there you go. And this one came from her money pile and it sold fast for $24.95. So I don't know about you guys, but I have a huge money pile. And I know sometimes I list those items and they sell really quick. And I'm like, why wasn't I listing these? It's because you buy too much stuff and then it just, you want to do the new stuff and then you put the stuff to the side and you just never get to it. Does anybody else have the money pile problem? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I see you in the comments. I see you. All right. Woolen needlepoint pillowcase, sham egg nest, space green. There, I, It's like a needlepoint thing here. And it looks like it's already complete. It says tapestry. All right. Uh, she bought a huge box lot of these. So has, it says a penny in this. So she must have got them really cheap. One has sold. She has two more left. And this sold for $25.23. So a penny into $25 is awesome. And the buyer paid shipping. Lola's Trunk Treasures. This is her eBay store. 
Again, all of the links to the eBay stores and channels are down below. Definitely recommend that you check out these Bolo finders. And she sold these plates, Gottinger uh, Jardin Butterfly Leaves Garden Pattern Salad Plates with Gold Trim. Uh, thrift store paid 10 bucks for them and sold those for $45.99 with free shipping. All right, this one is a schoolgirl's work, samplers from Spencer Museum of Art. Um, is it a book? I'm not really certain. Yeah, looks like it's a book. And this sold for $79.99. And it says that it is cross-stitch sample designs. So maybe it's not a book. And she got it at the two at the Goodwill for two dollars. Wow. Okay, so it's a book of sample designs for cross stitch. That is interesting. And it sold for full asking price with free shipping. That's really cool. And Strat Stratigo, Stratigo, Star Wars Stratigo. I feel like I've heard of that, but never played it. Anybody ever played this game? Is it fun? <laughs> it's from 2002. So how old would I have been 20 years ago? Yeah, probably not playing board games. All right. Goodwill, $5.80. Best offer of $73 on that with free shipping. The Rebel Reseller is next. And she is a Bolo finder. She sells tons of plush. She has a live working hangout on Wednesdays. So definitely check that out. It's a great, um, fun hangout. She usually has two people on there with, with her and they list and just chat with everybody in the chat. But definitely check out her what sold. She is a bolo finder, but she is not afraid to sell bread and butter either. She also mentioned one time that she paid her mortgage for the year with bread and butter items. So don't pass up those bread and butter items. Let's see what she sold. She sold this F&B gumdrop doll from 1962. She took a best offer of $100 on this and she got it at an estate sale for seven bucks. Let me see. There's the little um, tag. And this is what I was looking for right here on the neck. Most dolls have the writing on the neck. You definitely want to show a picture of that. She sold this uh, Tamagotchi virtual pet from 2004. These are a bolo. If you do not know, they're little keychains, but I guess you like, from what I understand, I've been told you have to like interact with them or something. I don't know this. I don't, I never played with one of these, but there's been a lot of hype about these. And she sold this for um, $75 and she got it for a, from a friend for free. And the buyer paid shipping on that. The next one sold on Etsy. It is a Lisa Frank Marky Unicorn mini backpack. Now, if you notice, it says Lisa lowercase Frank lowercase. From what I understand, the big L and the big F are the vintage ones. And they are coming back out with the big L and the big F because that used to be how you knew it was older. But now they're doing reproduction. So you got to be really careful with Lisa Frank. I'm not sure what time frame the small L and the small F are. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. But that is how you determine when they were made. But again, those reproductions are coming out. So be careful because they might get you. She sold this on Etsy, listed two years ago, and she cross posted it to Etsy and it sold for $123.45. She's got vintage from the 90s. So maybe, I, I don't know. I was thinking the little L and the little F wasn't it as old, but maybe this is when it first switched over. I'm not 100% sure. I'm definitely not a Lisa Frank um, buff. So some of you I'm sure know about Lisa Frank. So let us know in the comments. All right, we've got Donatella Bottolino. And what did she sell? She sold... Well, first off, let's talk about her channel. She sells to us, the reseller. She buys things wholesale. She buys from liquidators. Um, and when I say liquidators, like estate liquidators, storage lockers. Um, she She's one of the best sourcers I've ever seen. The stuff she brings to her auctions are amazing. But anyway, she used to own a thrift store a long time ago. 
And she has a lot of connections that call her up and bring her the deals and they know what she does and she, they know they have to give her a good deal because she needs to give us a good deal. So check her out if you're looking for inventory. She will be linked down below as well. Right now, she's currently on vacation with her kids and you can see right here, she's with T, her auction partner. They go back and forth on each other's channels. So make sure you're subscribed to Auction For You also. And let's see what Donna sold on eBay. Not a whole lot. Her store is pretty low right now because she mostly focuses on YouTube, but tries to keep her eBay account active because, you know, as a reseller, you want to have other, you know, options and she wants to keep her feedback up and stuff like that. So she does list from time to time and she wants to be on this, on this video. So she's got to sell something. All right. This first one, are you ready for this? Louis Vuitton loafers. And she actually had a friend that asked her to consign these for her. And Donna being like the person that she is, she gave her all the money. Um, Donna sold these for full asking price of $600 with free shipping. And she just gave all the money back to her friend. So uh, definitely very sweet of her and very nice pair of shoes. Brand new, never worn in the original box. $600 free shipping. That is awesome. She also sold these vintage Power Rangers. Oh, goodness. Vintage Power Ranger. Oh, why can't I say Rangers tonight? Vintage. There's going to be some more bloopers at the end. Vintage Power Rangers Evil Space Alien three piece. She sold these for $80 with free shipping. And the next item is this Adams and Brooks coffee, Rio original roast coffee candy. I don't know where she got this, but um, it's a retail arbitrage item, obviously. She's so selling these for $11.11 with free shipping. And if you guys know Donna, you know what $11.11 means to her. So I'm guessing that's why she chose that for this candy. And she has free shipping on this. So, um, if you guys watch Donna and love Donna, drop a comment down in the description if you made it this far. All right, you guys, thank you so much for wa watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me get back to full screen here. This is a Michael Arm or Ram. I don't know if that a ah, I don't know. Black Orchard, 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 Orchard. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. There are going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button and another video down here. Thank you for being here. If you would like to join memberships to be in a video like this, it is level two. It's $4.99 a month. My channel is completely free. The memberships are for perks to be in videos like this. Thank you so much. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.